All right. So this is World Builder. If you're not familiar with World Builder, we have a a screen where we uh, see the location we're at. It has a name. And then we have a description. You can click in this area to get stuff or do stuff. We have a file menu that allows us to save. We have a commands menu. It has all these commands and a weapons menu that allows us to do combat, which is usually not in World Builder games. It is sometimes. So we're going to save a start. And then we're going to start the timer and go. There's no, I guess we'll click about as, as well. Uh, it says, you have been flung to the far future where a war using N-bombs and germ warfare has long ago destroyed humanity. All right. Mortal Pongbat, QED, and Myth. Okay. And hey, Cannon. And hey, Jay Frisbee. And hey, Average Goon. How y'all doing? All right. Apparently, all this says it was produced by World Builder, the adventure game system by William. Copyright 1986 by William C. Appleton. Is World Builder copyright by William C. Appleton? Is there no name behind who made this game? There's no one to blame for this disaster of a game. We don't know it's a disaster of a game yet. Just to, just to be just to be fair, we don't know it's a disaster yet. We won't know that for a, a little while. All right, we're gonna start the timer. Here we go. Your time guesses hopefully are in by now. I'm gonna start the timer. Boom. All right. The timer started. You are in. You are on a parking lot garage. You are on the parking lot. Oh, you are on the parking lot of the Cyberville Mall. A road leads out of the parking lot, heading east. There is an entrance to the mall to the west. The direction you are facing now. Well, that's nice to know. Okay, let's see if we can open the doors. No, we cannot. We cannot click the doors. Okay, well, let's go west. A cool air wafts into your something as the door opens. Welcome to Cyberville Mall. We have a wide variety of stores for your shopping pleasure. You are facing north. In the north-south hallway to the west, we have a Com CompuWorld computer store. To the east, the exit to the parking lot. CompuWorld computer store? Let's go there. That's the only store in the mall. All right, computers. This is CompuWorld, the largest computer store chain in the world. The very latest computers are here, including a display of the all-new Crabapple Mac Macintosh 20 to the west. The exit to the east, there's a robot clerk here. Talk. Well, let's click him. He's got a tie on. Look at that clerk. Please don't touch my metal. Please don't touch my metal. I'm trying to touch your tie. All right, talk to robot. Talk. Okay, search. Oh yeah, the search command. We gotta remember to use the search command. Status. Apparently my name is John Smith as well. All right, well. What way do I need to go? Uh, west. Let's go west. You walk towards the Macintosh XX or 20 display. Powered by a 16 gigahertz. This is the future here. I just want to note this is the future here. A 16 gigahertz 88040 256 bit risk chip with four gigs of non volatile in RAM expandable to 240 terabytes and two 800 terabyte writable optical disks. Graphics is 65,536 by 
65,536 by 65,536 3D holographic resolution with four G colors from a palette of 256 trillion. Okay, that's that's a ridiculous amount of colors. It is so advanced. It was has replaced the old-fashioned icons, mouse, and windows for the all-new Xerox Computer Research Acti Activations Project-inspired keyboard command line interface, also known as the CRAP interface. Yeah. So it's got a it's got a text interface. Okay, let's click it. Don't smudge the hologram. Okay. Use computer. Uh, type. Uh, use Mac in Tosh. Look. Okay. Use crap. Crap. Take computer. Oh, we can't do that. Um, okay. Take Mac in Tosh. Well, I can't take it. All right. Well, it doesn't look like much. So basically, I guess it's like a hologram inside the bo a box. Nice. How big was the head? How big was the hard drive in Keanu Reeves' head? Google says 160 gigabytes. This has two 800 terabyte writable optical disks. Okay. So, that, that that's a lot of space. That's 1.5. Six petabytes, right? What a machine, you think, as you walk back. Okay, take machine. Okay, well, let me take it. Buy machine. No, I can buy it. Buy, buy machine. What do I have in my inventory, by the way? Do I have anything in my inventory? Uh, I have nothing. Okay. Well, let's let's just let's let's I guess go. The east is the parking lot. You're facing north. Let's go south. Malls sure haven't changed much. You're in the south of the Cyberville Mall. The hallway continues to the north. To the west is the Fantasy Realms comic book shop. And to the east is Fred's Fine Foods, one of the most exclusive places to eat in town. Let's go to Fantasy Realms Bookshop. Welcome to Fantasy Realms with comic Fantasy Realms with comic books, role playing games, etc. Among other things, there is a comic book here. The exit to the east. The exit is to the east. On the ground, you see a comic. Take comic. You now have the comic. It is The Adventures of Super Robot. Yeah. Read comic. It's rain and tacos. It is The Adventures of Super Robot by TC Comics, written by John Burns. Art by Georgia Press. Okay. Thanks for the talk party, average goon. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Like, uh, what's this? Is that a trash can? Look. Okay, I feel like there's not much to do in this game as far as clicking is concerned. Like, we got a comic. It wasn't shown on the floor but it said it was on the floor so let's go to the let's go to the food place now sorry we have a dress code here okay okay in order to go to the most exclusive place to eat in town we need to meet 
the dress code. Okay. Okay, there's no, okay, okay. All right. So there's three stores in this mall. Three stores. Three stores. Wait. Wait. Did we go north? No, we didn't go north. There's another place. Yes, Cyberville Mall has much to offer the world-class shopper. This hall continues to both the north and south. To the west is the Land of Odds Arcade, and to the east is the Gro Groger's Grocery. Man, this mall is big. This mall, this mall is actually big. I was, I was gonna say there's only three stores, but okay, that this mall is bigger than I thought. Okay, let's go east to the grocery store. Yeah, some groceries might come in handy right now. This is Groger's Grocery. This looks like the same robot at the other place. Take pills. Take food pills. Not good pills. Food pills. There's food pills on the ground. I guess I'll read the whole thing. Part of the largest and most popular grocery chain. Here you will find the best food money can buy. One of the other robot clerks would be happy to inform you about this week's specials. The exit is to the west. Take food pills. You now have food pills. All the nutrition with no added taste. Yum. Uh, ask about specials. Ask robot about specials. Okay. Talk to robot. Click the robot. All right. At least it don't taste like beef taco. That is true. That is very true. Here's blah, 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 blah. West. Okay, that, that West. Hey, a diversion might be just what we need. This is the Land of Odds Arcade, the latest, the very latest coin op arcade games here for your entertainment including the most popular Robot Wars. The exit is to the east. There's a sign on the Robot Wars game. Read sign. Um, read. Okay. Uh, look at sign. This is the, the most, okay. Uh, take sign? No. Look at sign. There's a sign on the game. Look at game. Damn it. Search. Dang. Use game. Play game. Okay. This parser is kind of crapping on me. It's kind of crapping out. It's kind of crapping out right now. I'm not a big fan of them saying there's a sign on a game and then not letting me read the sign. Come on, game. Why tell me there's a sign on the game if you don't want me to read it? This game is jank. I, I, I can't read it. Why tell me there's a sign? I can't. I can't play it either. What the heck? Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Those things are a waste of money anyway. North. Let's go north. All right, you are at the north end of the mall. The hall continues to the south. The west is Pete's Meats. Pete's Meats. And east is Fashionland Men's Fashions. 
Okay, let's click on the trash. Let's just do a search. We find nothing unusual, okay. Go in trash. Look, uh, search trash. Nope. All right. This is Pete's Meats, the finest butchery in the town of Cyberville. Unfortunately, it had it was a long that was long ago, and all the wares appear to have rotted away. You see a knife on the ground. You see a knife. Actually, I see it on the counter. I, honestly, I I see it on the counter. Way knife. Okay. Welcome to Fashion Land. Here, fashion is the emperor. Is emperor. We he we, had we gotten his clothes here, the emperor would not have been caught in the buff. A a, a sign shows today's specials. The robot click awaits the call for assistance. Ask robot. Talk robot. Talk to robot. Take clothes. Ask for assistance. I I didn't think you had to write your own parser. Um, I just feel like people didn't know how to use it. Like, in a lot of cases. I feel like you, <clears throat> you didn't actually have to write, like, your own parser. I feel like there was ways that World Builder could work that didn't require you to write your own text parser. I mean, you had... Sure, you had to make verbs and you had to make nouns and stuff like that, but I don't think... I don't think you had to write your own parser. Because I remember disassembling, like, the good game, or looking at the good game, and it had, it was, it was done well, and it didn't have all of these coded, like, it had, you had, you had nouns, like a noun could be associated with, with verbs, and things like that, and you can draw all these links, and things like that. And people just tended to not use it. I think both of those. Well, we didn't we didn't disassemble. I don't think either of those. We disassembled Twister, didn't we? I think Twister was the one we actually looked at in the World Builder tool, because it came with the World Builder tool, if I do recall. The World Builder tool was included on the on the on the thing. So we looked at it and I saw all the links and stuff like that. And then we looked at Starport and we saw the hard coded scripts that were with every single like room had its own little script. So. Yeah, we got stuck and we couldn't find a walkthrough. Anyway, what do we do? Do we do we talk to him? Let's do let's do a search. You find nothing unusual. Okay. Talk to robot. Let's see. It says the clerk robot. Talk to clerk. Ask clerk for help. Buy clothes. Oh! Ah! There we go. Buy clothes seems to be the right answer. Let's see if we can kick. Well, we, let's say first. And then we'll go slash knife. There's no one to fight. There's no one to fight. All right, I think we might need to go out of the mall and 
maybe find some money. Somehow we're at the mall with no money. So we need money so we can buy clothes. So we can go to the fancy rent. It feels like the goal here is to eat food. That seems to be the goal at the moment, is to eat some food. Oh, I didn't want to go that way. I wanted to go east. I should save it as something else. Uh, let's get food. Okay. Uh, to the west is, well, east. Here's the road heading north and south. The entrance to the Cyberville, Cyberville Mall parking lot is to the west. The road to the north appears to end a short distance ahead. To the south, there is some sort of structure. Uh, let's go north. You can't go that much. Okay. Wait, there's a gun! A gun. It's a fine looking laser gun. Heck yeah. Now I can rob people but in style. Apparently. I can't go east. Not unless you like jumping off cliffs. There seems to be a small structure this way. There's a small booth here. Apparently an information booth. There is a sign on the window. To the north is a three-way intersection. And to the west, or to the south, is downtown Cyberville. Okay. Uh, re read sign. Sorry, this info booth is closed for repairs. Let's shoot the gun. There's no one to fight. I mean, I can, it's closed for repairs. I can shoot it and maybe it'll take sign. No, I can't take the sign. All right, the information booth is closed for repairs. We don't seem to be able to click on it. Let's search, find nothing. South, downtown seems to be this way. This is Main Street of downtown Cyberville. To the north is a small structure, which is the place we were at. To the south, the road appears blocked with debris a short distance away. There seems to be some sort of subway entrance to the south. The Cyberville City Hall is to the east, and the Cyberville Main Library is to the west. All right, let's go to the west. Looks like a good place to find info. The library is almost completely demolished. Inside the remains of a destroyed... Oh, inside the inside. Wait, the library is almost completely demolished inside. The remains of a destroyed librarian robot is apparent. There is debris all around and only one book within your reach lying on the desk. It apparently had been returned by a patron just before the building collapsed. On the ground, you see a book. Take book. You now have the book telecommunicating with the Mac XX. Hey, there's a Mac XX in the mall. Read book. Oh, geez, that, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. The world of satellite telecommunications made simple by Toby, uh, Okay, go, go, go up, go up. Toby Daniels for Macintosh users. Terminal program. For Macintosh users, there is, there is the Macintosh Satellite Telecommunications Terminal Program, M-A-K-S-T-C-T-P. I should write this down, I guess. I don't know. STCTP. From Crab Apple itself and included with the com computer di and display operating system, KDOS, since the Mac X18 uh, to run it from KDOS, assuming that it has been loaded into NRAM at some time in the past and has not been deleted. 
Uh, uh. Simply type M A K S T C T P at the K DOS ready prompt. Most modern STCTP packages maintain an internal database of the various systems which can be accessed. So that that all you need to do is type the four letter uh Damn it. This is hard to navigate. Four letter abbreviation of the system you wish to access. One of the most One of the most popular systems is GOVT, operated by the U.S. government. It contains many files, most of which require passwords. One of which, one one which doesn't, is the POP file containing the U.S. population figures as of the most recent census. Okay. Well, there you go. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Right? You stub your toe on a fallen bookshelf. Whoops. This isn't getting me money, though. I hope this place... To oh! Welcome to Cyberville City Hall. There are no hallways or office nor offices on this level, but there are stairs, stairways leading up and down. There is a guard robot sitting in front of the downward staircase. Okay, let's shoot the robot. You encounter a guard. Oh, we just died. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, there's a death. There there is there is there is our first death. I was not expecting that. So I wasn't prepared, but you know, we, we don't have to do a whole lot to get back to where we were. He's a madman! A madman! Oh, wrong way. Oh, we, we didn't get the gun. We didn't get the gun either. We gotta go back and get the gun. Not boo. Okay. Gotta get the gun. We gotta go north a lot, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Take gun. There. Um, do we have any other... We have, we have the, we have the, uh, kill all humans. We have that. No, that I didn't want to go west. I want to go east. I also have a bender robot that I can push and get like stuff out of. Let's go up, I guess. Up. Climbing up the stairs, you are wet on the west end of a hallway. The hallway, the hall continues to the east, but a guard robot stands in the way. There are no doors in this part of the hall. There are two further, further on down past the guard robot. There's a staircase here leading down. Wait. East. You must have an ID card, sir. Oh, I need an ID card. Okay. Wait, what did that say? Oh, you hear your footsteps. Okay. Sorry, you must have an ID card to be allowed downstairs. Uh... You're feeling rather hungry. Okay. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. Must kill all humans. Eat pill. Hey, sexy mama. Wanna kill all humans? I'm not that hungry, apparently. You're feeling, uh, the street ends here 
in rubble just past the stairs lead down apparently to a subway you encounter a berserk robot the robot raises its arm the berserk robot claws its pinchers a miss all right i got it i killed the robot yes let's save save is kill robot you feel rather hungry. Okay, now we can go down. You're all aboard the Cyberville subway. This is the north end of the line. Oh my gosh, this game's pretty big, actually. Sorry, end of line. Okay. You ride the Cyberville subway south. You're at the Market Street subway stop. You can ride... North or south from here, a staircase leads up, apparently, to Market Street. Uh, this is Market Street. Damage is heavy here. Nothing remains standing, and the road is blocked on all sides by debris. There's a staircase leading down to the subway. Okay, so I can't go anywhere. Okay, well. You're at the Metro University. There are stairs leading up. You can go north or south. Okay, you're feeling right. Okay, this is the science hall lobby of the Metro University. There are no hallways, passages, doorways, elevators. Instead, a floating disc shaped robot approaches. Room number, please. It queries 203. Say 203. Room 203. Nope, apparently, we need to know a room number. Okay. At, uh, what's this? At, uh, Science Hall. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing we need to know the right thing. Right room number. I mean, I'm not going to try and do this. We'll just say one, two, three. No. So I didn't say one, two, three. No. Okay, down. All right, let's go set more south. You're you're at the end of the line. The, the star way leads up and the train is waiting to go north. There's nothing here but rubble on all sides, except east, which seems to be nothing but a dusty plain, and the stairway leading down to the sa subway. Okay. All right. Now, now, we, now we save. Save is dusty. Uh, east. You head out into the dusty plains. You're in the middle of a dry, dusty plain which stretches in all directions. As far as you, there's nothing out in sight. West, you wa you walking walking along aimlessly. Okay, we are we are now lost, probably forever. This 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 might. Whoa! I found I saw the phone booth. Whoa! I saw the phone booth. I I, I want to find it again. I know, I was just typing things. I better type slower now. Dang it! <laughs> I keep ending up back. Let's just keep going east and see what happens. Oh, here it is. Here it is. You are in the middle of a dusty wasteland. The object you saw from the distance can be seen clearly now. It is as it is right next to you. It is, of all things, a phone booth. It has what appears to be a mini mini miniature satellite dish on top. Okay. You decide to go in the phone booth. 
You are in the po- blah, blah, blah. Wait, what is this? They are constantly growing? Oh, hunger pains are very severe now. Okay. So we need to eat the food pill. You're in a phone booth, which is out in the middle of the desert. You pay, the pay phone does not appear to be in working order. Not that there's anybody to call anyway. You notice no cables when you came in, but a cable from the phone goes to the ceiling and apparently through to the roof. You now remember the miniature satellite dish on the roof. It seems the phone lines have been... Purse have been replaced. Okay. The phone book, if there ever was one, has long been stolen. Okay, well, I can't use it. Uh, eat pill. You're not that hungry. Okay. I'm not I'm not hungry enough to eat the pill. Okay. It's that bad. All right. Well. Dial. Dial phone. Check. Well, let's do a search. Search. Oh, look at that. You accidentally break open the rusty coin box during your search, and lots of coins fall out. There are mostly $1 coins, but also several $2.50 $2 coins, a few five, and a couple. Take, take coins. We got 307 bucks. We got 307 bucks. What the heck? Now we can go back and buy, like, a suit or something, probably. Nice. It's raining tacos. Thanks for the taco party, Carrific. All right, assuming we don't die. Of course, we end up back here. Dang it! Stop it! Oh my god! I can't- I can't get away from it now. The heck? There we go. Jeez, about freaking time. We're gonna go to the mall. See if we can buy the buy the uh, whoops. Uh, Maybe there will be an ID in there of, like, a government official. West is the mall parking lot is west. Okay. I can't believe we're not dead yet, to be honest. Like, I've, I've expected to be dead. We're going we're gonna to die at the last second is what's going to happen. <laughs> what just happened? What the hell? I just died? Did I die of starvation? Oh, we starved to death. We starved to death. Okay. I I, I knew it was going to be close to last minute. All right. Well, that sucks. Um, It's because we're in the desert so long, probably. I don't know why it doesn't let us eat these food pills that we clearly have. It's like... You're not that hungry. That's kind of jank. Open. All right. Let's find this phone booth. Here it is. Let me search. 
take coins. Death stalks you yeah. at every turn. Now we save. Save as coins. Coins. Save. All right, then we go down. We keep going north. We go north. Until we're at the end of the line. Up. And then uh, north. You know, the one thing this game could use is a compass. So you kind of know what direction you are. We still want to be soft locked. It's possible. But I think we can get the clothes and uh and, 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 and get and get the food. Okay, we killed we killed the robot. Buy clothes. What? That worked last that what? Buy clothes. Take clothes. Give coins. Try on clothes. Get clothes. Talk to robot. Last time I said buy clothes, it said you don't have enough money. And now we have money, and now it won't let us buy some clothes. Eat food pills. Oh, here we go. They uh, Apparently we had to type food pills, not pills. And now we don't have home. We don't have the hunger issue. Oh. What? Man, we don't have enough money. We need 3000 to get a suit. Oh, jeez. We don't have enough money for this. Yeah, dang it. We only got three hundred and seven dollars. We can't we can buy a tie. Maybe. There we go. I'll buy suit. You don't have enough. Money for it. OK, well, whatever. But we got a tie. So, nope. Oh my god, why don't, why, why, why put random combat in this? Like, you don't have to do that. They just chose, they just chose to do that, right? You don't have to do that. Uh, wait, no. It's West. West is the uh, is the computer store. Okay, so we want to go west to the computer. We want to type N A K S T C T P. Okay, use computer. Use type. Turn on computer. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Turn on computer. 
there look it's got it's got a terabyte of vram four gigs of in ram no optical disc inserted macintosh macintosh kdos 2.4 now running copyright 2107 by crab apple computer so now we type mac s t c t p which satellite telecommunication service do you wish to access g o v t government satellite s o 9 one seven orbit o two frequency twelve point five four six gigahertz searching for quer carrier frequency frequency sound connection made welcome to the United States government satellite public database which database do you wish to access pop as of twenty one ten automated census the total population of the United States of America was precisely zero humans and one Point four trillion robots. Okay, that that's not good. So it, that means I'm a robot, right? So I'm clearly a robot in this game, very clearly. Might need to figure out how to gamble. That's true. That's a good point. Uh, secret. Sorry, no database by that name exists. Uh, the butt database. No, no database by the butt. Uh, top secret. No. Oh, I was transported to the future. Ah, uh, CIA, NSA, FBI, um, Bill Gates. No. Money. Uh, USA. UFO. Area 51. I already tried FBI, but I'll try it again. Um, list. LS. Der. Help. Quit. Exit. None. Leave. Stop. Quit. None. No. Oh, just type south. Okay. So if we try and kill this robot, he kills us. So. All right. Okay. Uh, gambling's not a bad thought. Gambling's not a bad thought. I like that. I like that idea. Um, we gotta go north, I think. Yeah, Land of Odds Arcade. So we go west. Let's save as Land of uh, of Odds. Save. Read sign. I why can't I read the sign? Bet. Bet money. Bet 50. No. Play. Play game. Use game. Slots. Exclamation point slots. <laughs> roll. 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 Fight. Help. Look. Turn on. Game. No. Insert coin. 
Use coin. This game is jank. Help. Look. George! Why can't I read the sign? Let's try spelling sign wrong. Me. Just in case. I was like, maybe they spelled sign wrong in the uh, thing. Um, play Robot Wars. Use Robot Wars. Help or wait? What am I? What am I doing? Examine sign. Examine game. Examine coins. Examine no verbs. Help. Look. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know. Search. I tried that? No. I mean, yes. I mean, maybe. I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? Take money. Take game. Use game. Play game. Uh. Take sign. Read sign. Read robot. Wars sign. Read game sign. Read, uh... Oh, man. Uh! Okay. Play arcade game. Okay. Play arcade game. Play coin op game. What the heck? Why my phone just go blue? No. Okay. Not take. Play coin op game. Uh, commands. Um, look, rest, status, inventory, and search, and open. Can't open. Close. Up. Down. No, none of those work. Boo earns. Boo earns. We can't. We can't shoot stuff. I. I don't know what to do here. Kick. Game. Um. Bet. On robot wars. Bet coin. On a robot wars. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Search. Wear tie. I can't wear the tie. Okay, whatever. This may be another one where we have to disassemble it if we can't. Well, not disassemble, but you know, it's kick. It's way too heavy to carry around. Okay. How does that population thing help us? Like, I, I seriously want to know... Wait, there's a display case? What what does it say? There's a display case full of what used to be seafood. 
Open case. Take seafood. Okay. <laughs> what used to be poultry? Oh, no. Only employees are allowed. There's no one here! Maybe I can just type gamble. Did I try gamble? No. I mean, I'm kind of curious if maybe I'm supposed to, like, figure out another, like, database to get to. Oh, it's still at which database do you wish to access? Um, the total population Okay. I mean, I'll write that number down, I guess. One, four, two, six, seven, five, three, nine, one, two. I don't know if that number has any relevance, but I will write it down. Hmm, well, 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 what do we do now? A look basically is just look, so. It says, among other things, there is a comic book here, but we've already gotten the comic book, so there's really not. Wait, we, we haven't been in here before. The heck? Um, what's happening? Uh oh. Did I just did I just break the game? Uh oh. Oh, we can probably do this. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know what's going on now. Did I, did I just break the game? Well, farts. This game is jankified. All right, we're 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 here. It's fine. 
We're gonna have to call that a glitch if it if we if it's, if it's actually a glitch. Yeah, I've tried clicking the dice. I've tried clicking everywhere. I mean, there's only the dice, so. What did, what did it say? I don't know what it said. I, I don't know what it said. It said something, but I don't know what it was. So I think we're going to call that a glitch in the game. So... Oh, no. I hope this game is... You know, I guess I didn't try clicking it. You're right. I didn't try clicking. The dice? Yeah, we can't... I, I, I'm clicking everywhere and nothing, nothing works. I can move the window around. Clicking the plate's not a bad idea, though. I don't know if I've actually tried insert coin. Okay, th this is this this is not usable right now. So I feel like since we have a tie, it's like letting us in, but we don't actually have the full like equipment. So this is probably a glitch since we don't actually have what we need. No, insert coin doesn't work either. Have I tried you just use coin? Oh, man. Well, this is uh this is uh this is great. Hey, can we buy anything? Okay, I think we are going to have to use our thingy to look at this game. Because I feel like we need to be very, very specific about things. So we call... In order to get the waiter, we, have, we, have, we say call robot or call waiter. They should have put... There's a waiter waiting in the corner... And then it would have been a little bit more obvious. We're going to go into the restaurant. We're going to call waiter. Oh, it worked. Okay, it worked. So basically, for whatever reason, uh, you're stuck unless you say call waiter. Ah, we already marked this as a glitch, so... It's still a glitch. May I take your order, sir? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get the fillet. If we're not if we're not gonna pay for something, we might as well well not pay for the most expensive thing on the menu, right? Very good choice, sir. It will be ready in two point two eight metric minutes. Uh, your meal arrives. You eat it. It is quite good. That would be food, and we've actually already ate a food. We ate one food pill, so I should mark that on the thing, too. So we've eaten food twice. <clears throat> well, I don't know if I'm willing to go that far, Brave Star. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know if I'm willing to go that far. But... We can figure something out. Feather, banana, bottle cap, and a box of crayons. I do like the idea of you figuring out how to use an in the inventory in a creative way. So 
that may be something like if you have an item in your inventory that you could use in the adventure game that we're playing, then I could see saying, say, like using that. Anyway, um, I mean, I could make, I could easily make a roll d20 a command or something. Like that would be super easy. That would be super easy. Okay. Uh, pay. Sir, you mean to say you don't have enough money for this meal? I'm afraid I shall have to call a constable. You have the right to refrain from outputting. Anything you output will be used against you. Do you understand these rights? Oh, no. I can't poop? Oh, no. Hey, Alex. That's not good. Yeah, it's a nice looking robot, isn't it? Okay. Uh, no. You have the right to remain silent. I choose to waive that right. <laughs> right? No. This is Cyberville City Courtroom. The judge, jury, bailiff, etc. are all robots. The waiter robot from the restaurant is here in the, pl in the plaintiff's seat. Waiter robot, your honor, the defendant did eat food at our establishment without paying for it. Uh, judge robot, when did this take place? Approximately 19.67 metric minutes ago, your honor. Sir, you have been charged with petty larceny. Do you have anything to say on your own defense? I love tacos. There we go. Jury, you have been input the evidence in this case. You may now compute the output verdict. Jerry Foreman, since the word of the robot is more reliable than that of a human, we find the defendant guilty of petty larceny. Judge Robot, you have been found guilty of petty larceny. You are hereby sentenced to 28.7 metric days in the county jail. Court is now adjourned. Bailiff Robot, all rise. Time for your final dramatic yelling protest of innocence. Yell. You are now in jail. There are three concrete walls to the south, west, and east. There is a bunk along the south wall, and no no windows. In place, of, in place of the north wall is some rusty iron bars. Okay, cool. We could be soft. Our pack is empty. They took all of our stuff. West, south, east. All right, let's search. You find nothing. Yell. Okay, open bars. Uh... Look. Okay, you know, there's south. There's a bunk along the south wall, and uh, no windows. In place of the north wall. Okay, south. No, the window is too high. It has bars. Sleep. Uh, rest. Okay. Lay down. Okay, I can't do that either. Um. Take bed. Take sheets. Um, open. Squeeze. Through. Bars. Like a cat. I can't do that either. Well, but. I was sure that was going to work. Um. Call guard. No. Look guard. Okay, there are three concrete walls. South, east, west. There's a bunk along the south wall. Examine bunk. No. Place of the north wall is some... Wait, it's... And no... It says no windows, but when I say south, it says the window is too high to reach and has bars. There's a discrepancy in the description here. There is a discrepancy here. There is a bunk along the south wall and no windows. Yet, when I say south, it says the window is too high and has no bars. Stand on a bunk. Up. No. No. 
stand. We're actually stuck in jail. You mean we can't, we can't, per you mean we are soft locked? Is that what you're saying? We're actually soft locked. There's no way out of here. I mean, we can always look at the code to see if that's true. I'm not stuck. Carrific knows things. Oh, all, all we had to do was go north. <laughs> That's all we had to do was go north. Oh, no, there's a berserk robot. Okay, kick. Kick. No, the, the bars are just too rusty. It's been it's been a long time, and they they they, they don't they're not maintenance robots. There, I I search. Okay, I better save. Save as out of jail. Where am I? You are in the hallway to the jail. There's a strange closet to the north. Open closet. Behind the door is a small closet, just big enough to walk into. What the heck? Oh, we see my stuff. Take gun. Take gun. Okay, now we just shoot it. There. There, now we can just take all the stuff. Take book. Take pills. Take food pills. Take comic. Okay, so yeah, we had to get arrested in order for this to happen. Okay, nothing else is in here. South. Okay. Then we, now let's save again. Okay. Then then we can go. There's a storage closet south of the jail cell. Stairway leads up. Up. Welcome to Cyber Hall. There, there are hallways, door, offices, but there's a uh, there's a guard standing in front of the downward staircase. Down. Down. Okay. I can go. I can somehow I can go down now. I, ha I guess since I'm a prisoner and have an ID, even though it's a prisoner ID, it's good enough. Okay. Wait, I thought I could go up. Okay, you're in the West Hall. Continues to put this in. There are no doors in this part. There, this is, there are two further down. Oh, pass guard. Right, okay. East, but the guard room east. Okay. Two doors. Yeah, I guess since we uh, since we uh, have a prison ID where it's good enough. To the east, there is two doors, both open. One is north. Okay. What's this? Oh, there's a plush. This is a plush office. Your attention is on the massive desk in the office. The door out of the office is south. You see a letter on the ground. Read letter. Oh, here we go. And here's how we get that password. Here's how we get the password that we knew about. So we want government, and then we want Kronos. Oh, jeez. I'm pushing um. buttons. Kronos. And... Password is Norton. All right, cool. Oh, and the lab location is uh three forty seven, and the combination is located in that file. Okay, cool. All right, take letter. Okay.
tank mug. Okay. This is an average office, like a. Okay, there's. No, I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, the hall that comes down the east. There are no doors in this part of the hall, but there are two further down. There's a stairway leading down. Okay. Okay, this is. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, how do I get in here? There are no hallways or offices in this, but they're okay. South, north, west. Okay, here we go. So now we go back to the mall, right? We go back to the mall. We go back to the computer, which is north. No, it's not. It's not north. It is not north. It is west. And west again. And then we uh, put in put in government, or we put in Kronos. And then we type Norton as the password, and we see that the combination to the lab is one four nine. One six five two five. All right, one four nine four six two five. One four nine four six one one four nine one six two five. Okay, so then we head out south east and then east again. And then we're going to go south, no, east, then south. I'm going to keep going south until we get to the subway. Down. And south. And I don't remember if this is where I want. No, that's not where I want to get off. This is where I want to get off. Let me type, let me say, to 347. This is a hallway. You are standing in front of front of one of the immediate one of immediately to the east. It is a sophisticated combination lock. The disc shaped robot is here. The hall continues north and south. Okay. Uh one four nine dash one six two five. Enter one four nine one six two five. <laughs> okay. Type type one four nine one six two five. Um unlock. Okay, let me let me look here. East. <laughs> Okay, we bumped our head. Okay, let's let's save here. Save as lock or or uh, combo. Save. Did anyone see this? The tenth anniversary Walking Dead comp bundle. Wow, that's a lot of uh, stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Type one. One. Enter code. <laughs> Use code. Be more specific. Use code one four nine one six two five. Be more what <laughs> A little longer than a few minutes later. Use lock. Okay, it is use lock. Why did I not try use lock? One, four, nine, one, six. See? 
I don't know. And then we go inner door. You walk through the door. You are in a laboratory of Project Kronos, a strange machine, uh, which this is interesting since we played um, Chrono Trigger, right? Um, a strange machine with a arched entryway sits in the corner. There is a lot of equipment here. The door is shut automatically after you came in, but can it be pushed open from this side. Okay, save again. All right, what are we looking at here? You forgot how to... Yeah, I forgot how to 1980s. That is true. Um, okay, enter. You are finally inside the Kronos time machine. It's a time machine! There are all sorts of knobs and controls here with the uh, numbers on them. They are labeled year, month, etc. Okay. Enter the destination time and date you wish to go. Okay. Uh, I want to go to 20. I want to go to uh, time. Okay, let's type it in. The time machine cannot decode or will not access that destination date. Okay, uh, 2000. 2000. Okay. Nineteen eighty one, two, three. Uh, I just won. I just won. I just beat the. We just beat the game. Did you see that? Let's let's do it again. Let's win again. I I didn't read what it said. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, we won again. I can't. I can't read all the stuff I'm supposed to read. The lab is gone, and you step out of the machine. You are home, but as soon as you step out of the out, the machine reactivates, and you vanish, and vanishes from your sight forever. It apparently had an auto return program in it. You have won. Yay, we did it. We beat the game.